AdWords optimizations and management you should be doing on a, a weekly basis, in my opinion. Um, you should be minimum doing it every 14 days. So every every seven or 14 days, you should be doing these optimizations I'm about to go through with you. And I'm not going to go too in depth of crazy optimization tactics because we do a lot of that stuff in our course. So I'm not going to go crazy today. I'm just going to go over three basic optimizations that you have to do to maintain and manage a campaign successfully. All right. So number one, that's optimizing your keyword bids. Number two, that's adding good keywords that are converting that you're not currently bidding on and negativing out keywords that you've paid for that suck and are wasting your money. Device bids is the third, how to optimize device bids. All right, so we're going to dive right in right now. Give me one second here. We're going to go into our, we're in our agency account at this time because that's a campaign that has data. And we're going to go optimize our white label PPC agency campaign. So the first thing we're going to do is look at our keyword bids. So we're going to log into our campaign. You should see your ad group level here. And this is really important too, I should note. The columns right up here. If you don't know how to get these columns, these are the columns you need to optimize a campaign. All right, search impression share, conversion rate, cost per conversion, number of conversions, average position, cost, average cost per click, click-through rate, impression, and clicks. And if you don't know what one of these columns means, just hover over it and a little box pops up and tells you exactly what it is. All right, so first things first, have these columns lined up. Very important. Next, we're going to go into our Keywords tab. And you want the same columns lined up as well. So let me just shrink this. All right, so we're going to look at our Keywords. You're going to sort by clicks. We want the most amount of clicks first, and we'll work our way down. All right, so right now we're optimizing keyword bids. So we're looking for keywords that are sending clicks that's either not converting well or converting really shitty. So the, the goal for this campaign is that get leads at 100 bucks. all right? So you can see where cost per conversion column, we're right around there, okay? So this one's a little high, but 115 I'm willing to pay for. That's fine. These are great. But... um. You see, this is it's hard to optimize this campaign because I've been doing I've been optimizing it forever, so it's really dialed in. But let's say let's say we, we're going through our keywords and we have a keyword like this that is uh that has ten clicks and no leads. Alright? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in, you're gonna check this, and you're gonna go into search terms for that keyword, which are the raw search terms typed into Google that triggered your ad to show, and you're gonna look if the keyword the search terms are on point with the keyword. All right, so the keyword was um, white label Google AdWords. So if search terms are not about white label Google AdWords and they're like random wacky shit, I'm, the keyword's not doing well, and I'm going to pause it. All right, I only pause keywords when they've had no leads and 10 clicks. All right, I would not pause a keyword with less than 10 clicks. You don't have enough data yet to pause it. So you're going to optimize your keywords by going through that go through that process and see what's what's killing you and what's not. There's a, there's a theme that you need to stick to when optimizing any AdWords campaign. It's you're going to turn off, pause, or decrease your bid on your losing, on your losers, okay, on your losers. Whether that's ads, keywords, devices, whatever. You're going to increase bids, increase percent percentage of bids, stuff like that on your winners. So we want more of what's winning and we want less of what's killing us or bleeding us, okay? So there's just not enough data in here to to go through the keywords. Like, I'm not going to make a decision based on one click. That doesn't make any sense. Let me see if all time's any better. Because this campaign, we just turn on when we want leads, and then just turn it off. And you can tell it does really well. It converts at, like, crazy high conversion rates. So, no, well, these keywords look good. All right, so I guess that's it for this. I don't have any other data to go through. But that's the gist, all right? And you come through your keywords, and if, if you're getting crushed, like if we had 27 clicks and, and one lead, and the lead's like $200, then we're bidding way too high. I'm going to decrease the bid, okay? Or if it's, um, you know, 15, 18 clicks and no leads, I'm just going to pause the keyword. Um, it's not working. Something's something's off. So, oh, battery's going to die. All right, so that's uh, that's the gist of optimizing your keyword bids. Next up, we're going to go into add negative keywords. We're going to add keywords that that are uh, converting for us, and we're going to negative keywords that 
that we paid for that suck. And to do that, we're going to be under the Keywords tab again and come up here to Search Terms. Hit Search Terms. Now these are all, let me turn this filter off. These are all the keywords that triggered, that were typed into Google. They were actually typed into Google that triggered our, our keyword and our ads. All right. So you can see here, there's a lot of them. So we're going to go through and we're just going to look and see if there's something we don't want first. We'll do negatives first. So we're going to look through. If we saw something like SEO services or something like that, that's something we would take and just negative out. So here's one I've already excluded. That's a good example. So software. All right. Even though it sent a lead, it's not a good lead because it's somebody looking for software. All right. So what I would do is click this, come up here, add this negative keyword to the campaign level and hit save and it adds it. And then I would also, what I would also do is come back down. I would take the word software because that's a root keyword we don't want. All right. And I would come back up to negative keywords, hit this plus sign. And I would put software in there and hit save. And I just added software to a negative keyword. All right, so that's what you're going to do when trying to find negative keywords in your search term report. That's all you're going to do is just comb through and find them like that. And then negative out what's garbage. And to add winning keywords, you can see here all these keywords that are added. These are all keywords that we weren't currently bidding on. Look at all the leads they sent us. They sent us a shitload of leads because we added them in. All right, so if we're looking, all right, best Google AdWords management white label. That sent us a lead, all right? That's something that I want to add into the campaign. So I would click it, add as campaign. I'm going to do exact match because that's the exact keyword that sent that lead. Hit save. That's it. So you're going to add your winners. You're going to negative your losers. That's all it is when it comes to optimization tactic two, all right? Number three is device bids. We're going to come over here back to our navigation, go down to devices. You have desktop computers, mobile phones, and tablets, which are like iPads and Android tablets, stuff like that. And you can see here we've our bids are already adjusted, so we go based off data. So you can see here our, our desktop computers is converting at 39%. Our mobile phone traffic is converting at 50%. So I'm going to increase my bids on what's converting the best for me, all right? So I increased all of our bids because they're all converting really well. So that's basically what you want to do. Now let's say desktop had a, a bunch of clicks and a really shitty conversion rate I'm gonna decrease the bids on my desktop to do that you just click on it increase or decrease that's all you would do okay and that's what you, and you gotta you gotta look at the data and you gotta optimize your devices based on that so if tablets drawing up drawing a bunch of clicks and wasting money with no leads just turn it off that's all you have to do so come over here decrease and do negative hundred percent and turn it off same with desktop or mobile whatever's killing you you want to decrease incrementally by usually five or ten percent that's chunks that's what I do and then increase by five or ten percent chunks as well the winners um, besides that if you guys have any questions about these three optimization tactics drop them in the comments below this video and I'll dive in and help as best I can don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video give me a thumbs up if you can just stick to these three core principles when you're optimizing your campaigns and you guys will do well okay these are the top three that you just you, you can't go wrong. I'm not going to go into ad copy and stuff like that right now, but that's another one. But that's for a different time. So stick to these three and you'll, you, you'll be okay. All right. So like I said, any questions, drop them in the comments below. Check out the links in the description. I put some stuff in there for you guys, including a link to our advanced course and a link to our uh, free optimization AdWords guide where I go over a little more in depth of each one of these. You can download that for free today. And don't forget to join our Facebook group.